Hey guys, Will and James here with Press Start TV E3 2016. Yo! Here with Ryan Schneider, Chief Brand Officer of Insomniac. Ryan, thank you so much for taking some time with us. Uh, we just got done playing uh, Feral Rights. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about this title. Feral Rights is a third person action brawler. It's uh, exclusive for the Oculus Rift. It's going to come out later this year. And it's a game we're really excited about. It, it kind of combines elements of like God of War mashed together with uh, inspiration from Altered Beasts. Yeah, well, Altered Beasts. I mean, that's that's just one of the, like We were just talking about this earlier, but back in the day in the arcades, that was like one of the best games you could play on the on the in, in, in the arcade but you can definitely see that through those transitions and um, different power-ups and stuff how many different uh, characters do you have in this particular game well it's it's mainly built like the most important thing is that you can play as a male or female warrior uh, named Kai and I'll, I'm gonna just dive into the backstory real quick basically Kai's father uh, was slain on this beautiful tropical island and it turned into a cursed jungle and you are avenging his death. So as far as characters go, you are mainly playing as Kai, but you can transform into this wild tiger-like beast and just wreak havoc. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. One of the things, uh, you know, with the Oculus and VR that I kind of answered some of my own questions while we were playing was like, what happens if your character's over here and you're looking over here? And it's a easy, it's a, just an easy signal thing. It says, hey, they gave you a little map indicator. By the way, it's like, hey, you're this way. You're located bro. over here. So. You're looking at shrubs. This the action's here. Yeah. So, I mean, developing exclusively for VR, those are some of the things you have to think about. How are we going to yeah. make the player, you know, make it easier for them? Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons that, surprisingly, to some folks, that we look at third person uh, as, a, as a perspective because you're, we're we're ushering in a new era of virtual reality, and we have to take into things, uh, take in, things into consideration that we wouldn't necessarily have to in traditional video games. So that's one of them. And what we do in Feral Rights is we actually have uh, a spirit guide that will help kind of show you the right way to look and, and go in the gameplay. And it's, it's a, just a little bit more of a gentle experience getting used to the world of VR. Sure, sure, James. Uh, so obviously, transformations are a big thing, and that's always been a, a huge. Uh, genre for me, I guess if sure. you could call it that. Uh, Altered Beast, Bloody Roar, that kind of thing. It's been a long time since I had anything that had those kind of transformations. So we see she's a tiger. I also fought like a giant baboon. Beasts yep. are a centerpiece of the game. Yep. Uh, what are some other half beasts that we could be expecting to see? Well, those are the ones we're focusing on right now, but it is a cursed island and Many different things can happen when you're talking about magic, and you know something I do want to point out is that this is a pretty tongue-in-cheek game in terms of like tone. Um, I've heard it described as uh, as bringing back games from 2001 for all the right reasons, and I think that there's some truth to that. Yeah, so sure. there's a little bit of cheekiness to it, a little bit of harkening back to that era of over-the-top altered beast style games. So you can imagine that. Uh, this is going to have a lot to offer when it comes to uh, blending all that together in this like mystical, cheeky, over-the-top kind of environment. Yeah, and it's really the first of its kind that I've seen uh, for VR, um, as well as the first of its kind I've seen in years for any platform. Um, yeah, and I was just rolling through, collecting all kinds of different power-ups, pickups, and chests right. of gold. Uh, what would you like spend that on later on? Well, first I want to say this is going to be a very large game. Ah. Uh, this is very full-featured, polished game. It's not like a tech demo type experience. So it's not a small island. No, no, no. This is a very large world, so there's going to be a lot of different things uh, where you can upgrade Kai and get more protective gear, more more decorative uh, a talisman that unlocks special abilities. So there's a lot more to offer than the demo here, which is actually fairly awesome. linear, but it's, it's designed to kind of get you into the flow of the experience. But when you get into the final game, it's going to be much, much larger, and you will be able to go off the path. I, I'm really glad to hear you say that, because most the experiences that I had so far are mostly just tech demos. You have a little Absolutely. experience, you can say, hey, this is what VR is about, but here we have a full-fledged game. How many hours of gameplay can we expect to get out of it? Well, we haven't revealed that exactly yet, but we are making this a very full uh, featured game. It's going to be not just like a couple hours, but like significantly more than that. So, you know, obviously we still have to tune the game and get to that final place where we're comfortable telling you how many hours, but the game doesn't come out till this fall, so we've got plenty okay. of time for that. Well, that answers my next question. Yeah, sure. And it's exclusive to Oculus? Uh, it is. Like, we have a great relationship with Oculus. We're very excited working with them. And, you know, something that a lot of people don't know is that uh, Ted Price and Jason Rubin go way, way back when Jason was head of Naughty Dog. Ted and, Price. Yeah. yeah, Ted Price from Virginia. <laughs> uh, they, they, they go way, way back. So there's a great collaboration happening here. And, 
and it's great for us to be able to focus on one VR platform so early in VR's infancy sure. at this point. And it's not to say we won't make games for other VR platforms, but right now we're really, really happy with working with Oculus, and the support they've given us has been tremendous. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the first time we've had uh, hands-on with this latest version of the Oculus and what's going to be the consumer one. It, it was great, actually. It's yeah. very cool. comfortable. Yeah, and given Insomniac's track record, I know the game's going to be awesome. Can't wait to get our hands on it. Ryan, we really appreciate you taking hey, some time with us. Thank you guys for having me. Really appreciate you, it. Yeah, thanks so much. Keep it here on Press Start TV. We'll have more on this game soon. Peace, guys.